Hello guys, Miggy should be here and today is a new day and also happy 4th anniversary. It has been 4 years since the game launched and I've been playing this game for 4 years also. So I feel really old now. I've been playing this game for 4 years. It's kind of impossible to imagine that but it's true. So 4th anniversary means we have new stuff to have a look at. The first thing is the connect skill is here, then they have floor 75 and also new boss, the skull reaper, we can get avatar and also new core metal that we need to evolve Rosso. Uh, new free pulls, really nice, the connect step up order is here which we are gonna cover today's video. And then we have a new weapon prophecy skill, overcharge, which means we can have now uh, higher level for switch but as I said for today's video we are gonna have a look at the scale connect and see how they are I will try to cover how the mechanic works also but um, but today I will just do some uh, polls um, I will just do my free polls before I forget to do that and uh, let's see what we can get from it uh, I'm gonna skip this one because it's not guaranteed to get any 4 star and of course no 4 star and let's see we can get something here um, so we get what, free 440 skill record that means that we can do it I mean, that means we get guaranteed at least 10 4 star skills and plus extra from the 3 holes First of all, let's keep on the And Chai X Masachi. Uh, it's a dupe on this account. Huh? And this one should be new, really nice. And this one was updated. It got new awakening. Before it was regular, but now it's awakening. So yeah. That was my free polls. Uh, comment down below what you guys got for, for today's free polls. Anyway, let's talk about the connection step up order, which is has seven new skills which is for the new mechanic short about this banner is that it's a five step banner with step one 50 percent off step three regular a guaranteed random four star skill and step five a guaranteed four star skill which is connect skill and first we can have a look at the shaping your own fate creator it's a one hand sword with skill animation backdrop 24 sp slash and fire 1420% damage to hit single foe and when the skill hits the damage you received uh, decreased by 50% and the connect chain reduce status element stacks by 5, 10, 15 on yourself when hitting the skill while infected by burn and decent I will say a will to carry on asana is a rapier hydro reef 24 sp thrust and water same damage as kirito with the same effect but on the connect chain, we reduce all skill cooldown by 3, 6, 9 seconds when hit. That is actually amazing. Actually, that is actually amazing for Rapier. Filling a down Koharo. A dark shadow slash um, 24 sp slash and dark. 1300 8% damage, 3 hit single foe. Same as Krita Asuna. And this one is same as Krito but with poison. Um, battle style Elizabeth. Okay. He, they don't have the animation. I mean the new artwork. Turn 100 single foe, same as Great Asana. Recovery SP. That is actually nice. Finally something good. Blue spread such as a win plus win SP 24, 1568. Same as the all basically all the same. Recover HP. <laughs> wow. Recover HP. Ah, uh, oh no. I don't think Spear really need to recover HP. Axe has the highest percentage so far. 670% damage. Uh, easier to draw enemy aggro is fine. Attack is real high. But that is only break. Um, bow. 1410. Same. Less aggro. And ray stacks. I don't think Spear has. No, I mean, Bow doesn't have any stacks. Yeah. Anyway, let's have a look at the rate 0 0.18. Uh, 
uh, for new one uh, if you look at the step 3 step 3 we should have 4.625 that is decent but around 33 33% chance to get a new skill and 67 for something else and on the guarantee 40 percent to get something well let's see how lucky am i my plan for this video is to do one rotation this and save the okan gem for something else because i don't think this banner is really worth the pull and uh, we not really need it even though they are currently the strongest skills uh, without any like uh, mod attach or something just normal use because it has high multiplier or high percentage damage so yeah well for this video the goal is to try to get as many connect skill as possible and hopefully all seven if i'm really really lucky if i'm not it's fine we can showcase the one or two or three skill we get so hopefully we get at least five five star or four star to make it up for the polls so, i mean i'm paying um 11k 250 uncommon gems and that is a lot i know um i mean if you do raid and yet yet rank one that is like two months no one month of saving but if you want to do multiples polls then it's two three uh, multiple rank one so yeah oh a four star okay not awakening i guess it's normal then uh wind aa wind element that is actually nice very nice it is a new it is a new skill for this account so far only one four star which is very nice and this will be the last one yep all right not bad not bad and let's move on to the next one um the thing i want to see is the rapier because the reason why i think the rapier is kind of broken is because it reduces uh, the cooldown of the skill up to nine seconds and normally normal skills is about from 12 to 14 15 somewhere there and if you reduce 9 seconds that's when you can use the skills again and something i know about skill connect uh, since uh, i've seen the live a little bit is about that it doesn't require require you to use any sp and if, if you use skill connect reduce the skill you can use spam again you can do a second rotation it's like doing one rotation without using any sp then you use normal sp that is actually amazing for rapier but the only reason why i don't think this banner is actually worth to pull for now is because it's kind of new mechanic and i'm i would say i kind of made a mistake with the uh, last year when i talked about mod uh, because there is a pattern when it comes to anniversary. Anniversary to release new skill, new mechanic, everyone really excited about it and wanna try it out. But one month later or the next year, they get power creep. Or they, there are skills that are getting better is better than their anniversary skills. So like last year we had the anniversary, then we had the Christmas banner, and the Christmas banner have really strong mod sword, really strong spear, really strong axe, really strong a uh, bow then new year another mod sword and better rapier better a decent axe just you so much uh, already better than the anniversary skills but there's still some an uh, anniversary skill that are decent so far if you look back on the, the second or was it the first anniversary when the burst was released the only thing that is really good so far that's still used till this day is uh top speeder leafa because it gives aa and a is a meta during the third anniversary so yeah um third anniversary awakening skill 
The only thing that are pretty pretty useful is pressing here with Krito. Still useful today because it's a support skill, easy to switch gain, less SP cost, really fast skill to use, and gives you a tag above real nice support skill. And for the third and reverse. Mold skill. Mold skill. And what skills is really good? The bow, probably the bow. Yeah, uh, Arch of Dawn, really good. Mod bow, win, especially for later higher floor. Really useful and really fast, quick, and you can do a bunch of big damage. And the rest is becoming like mod fodder. They can still be useful, but mostly is like a mod fodder. And for bow, it's like you can still use it and really amazing. <sighs> I talk a lot. And finally, we got a 4 star. Finally. And it's a connect skill. Yes. Nice. Uh, finally. So, we got the Xenon. Far flying arrow Xenon. Very nice. Looks really nice also. High percentage. Let's see how I, can, I want to see what an, an animation is, but I want to finish the rotation. After that, we'll see the animation of it and see how it is. It should be the same, I guess, because I don't think they will release anything new. Right? I mean, they have. I mean, they do change the name, the skill name, the skill animation name, but somehow it has some similar animation, maybe like a different area attack or something, or a small area. But yeah, uh, we're getting a bunch of 3 stars, 2 star, no 4 star. We want a lot of 4 star, at least the new skill connection. So we can showcase it about it and then make a guide about it. I will try to make my best to make a guide. Um, like I did previously, I, I, last year, two YouTubers uh, made a guide. I would say one of them made a really decent, and the other one didn't do pretty well because it was a lot of misinformation uh, even though it was kind of rushed but it's alright it takes about two to, two to three days to collect uh, information gather data and stuff and then try to put into the video and then uh, produce, produce produce the video and post it so it cannot take a while to collect the information I need but uh, if you want the really good tips is to read the notice because notice has all the information just basic not like in depth like the rabbit when people was uh, trying to know how to unlock the uh, this weapon series how to unlock the slots while the floor armor can be unlocked three slots already meanwhile the um the series weapon did not have any, any slots only one unlock and people was like yeah, you need to unlock it by killing um, rabbits. But no, there were three types. Three types of rabbits. There were Ragout, Cheer, and Roy. And with those rabbits, you can unlock the slots. And that was the uh, one misinformation from one YouTuber uh, that did uh, save, save content before. You I think it was kind of rushed. And also. The drop he was he also told you there what you could get up to two uh, ores which is false you can't get two ores it's impossible i have i have even farmed rabbits a, a lot so yeah but it's fine it's fine everyone is can do a mistake and i would say it was kind of rush I, I want to i mean it's you should take your time don't rush I mean, if you have the data mining, have the, or get all information, it's fine to do that, cover that. But if you want to make sure everything is alright, take one to three days, get information, get everything confirmed, then you can post the video. That is what I think that you should do if you're trying to make a guide for new players or players that doesn't know how the new mechanic works. <clears throat> so yeah, um, this should be the last one. I mean, I've been talking, watching, and nothing happened. Oh, Yui, nice. Yui on last one, nice. 
You should. Pull. He's fine. We got that. He's fine. He's fine. He's fine. I really wanted to be rapier, but yeah, he's fine. We got Agile, Axe. So, let's see the animation from both of the skills. We got three f uh, four star skills. Is decent for a uh, five step. And uh, let's see. An axe. Too bad we got only two uh, scale connection, but it's fine. We can showcase the two we got now. Uh, oh, Tiger is here. Maybe Tiger will cover the skill connect, right? Not equip it yet. Hmm. Maybe we we'll see. Anyway, um, the animation is the same as the Christmas Xenon and the mod one. And an axe is uh, I don't know. Doesn't look that good. Yeah. Um. Hmm. It cannot. I don't know. It looks fine. And this same animation. Um, we don't know how the meta will be for the banner, so yeah. I mean for the skills. Um, now the question is, is this banner worth the poll? My opinion, not really worth the poll, especially for new players or play... Uh, uh, because you don't really need... They, they are really amazing, but they don't have really like amazing bonus. It's fine. I mean, you can take damage 3%. It's, I guess it's for like higher level uh, boss that does a lot of big damage. But I don't really want to recommend you guys to polling on this one if you don't want really want to jump into the new stuff. I wouldn't let people that are spending money or have been saving useful to try to new the skill go ahead if you want. But I will recommend not to poll. Just wait to see how it works. I wait to see how people making it watch them make videos about it and also we know christmas new year next year will have better skills better to save them and also also this banner will or all these skills will be on the general pool so yeah my recommendation don't pull on this banner trust me you will say a lot on kanja so yeah um i think now nah, stop watching Akara. okay thank you guys for watching this video i uh, hopefully you guys enjoy my polls and my talking commentary on this one hopefully you understand a little bit how it works so yeah thank you guys for watching this video and i'll see you on the next one take care and peace